Good evening. <laughs> Good evening. How are you? I want to say that you are blessed to join me this night. Anywhere you are watching from, you are watching me from Nigeria, South Africa, here, yeah, Botswana, Zambia, Mozambique, China, USA, England, London. I've been receiving messages from, from China, Pakistan. I say you are so blessed. I love you from the bottom of my heart. And it is my duty to always come here to speak to you, to pray for you, to make sure that you succeed in everything that you do. Before we proceed, I want you to start sharing this broadcast now. Share this broadcast in all the groups where you belong. Share it in all the groups, all the groups. Share it on WhatsApp. Share it on your timeline. We fought a lot to put in a president that means well for the people of Zambia. And we are not going to sit down and watch him being destroyed by people that he appointed willingly and trusted with the public powers. I will always be here to guide you, to share with you the movement, things that we must do to prevent criminals from regrouping in UPND and continue looting the resources. Share this broadcast, please, everywhere. Any, everyone must listen to me. This is very, very important broadcast. I'm not going to waste time. I think in the next 30 minutes will be fine. Just for you to get the information at hand. Just like I was giving you spiritual information before the election one thing you must know about this facebook page and see one is that see one does not lie see one anything i tell you that is how it is you may deny it you may try to play around with it you may pretend you may run around you may go here and go here you will still come back and believe that the information that see one has given to you is an accurate information. Our duty is to make sure that we help President HH rule Zambia for 10 good years and successfully. We are here to carry out his vision. We are here to protect his vision from criminals. Every president that takes over power always has vision for the people. But if they are not people that are there to protect the vision, criminals will come in and take advantage and destroy the vision. So, in the next few minutes, you are going to be hearing from me. Secondly, this is a very important information that I want to give to you. Remember that we have started again like I promised we have started to expose corrupt ministers, corrupt uh, uh, permanent secretaries, corrupt criminals in government. The president himself, I know him. And I know the kind of heart he has for the people of Zambia. And from the bottom left part of his heart, he has appointed these guys, trusting them hoping that they are going to carry out the vision that he has for the people of Zambia. But the criminals have already taken over them. In the next few minutes, we are going to be hearing about this. 
But before we talk about this, remember that if you have not followed this page, follow this page because we have started again. What you saw during the tenor of PF is nothing compared to what we are going to see here. The one with PF was it started late because we we gave them time to study them before we started fighting them. But this one we know them from A to Z. We know everybody. So anytime we see anything corruption taking place, we must come here and prevent that from happening. There is a parable that says prevention is better than cure. So we are here to prevent criminals from taking over the government that the people fought for. And one thing you must know about C1 is that number one, there are criminals that are taking advantage of me and the page. They take my picture. They pretend to be C1. They send you messages on Facebook. And they claim that the, they are representing C1 or they are C1. Sometimes they can even call you on video. They play for you a recorded video of myself. That video will be saying a different thing. And they will be saying a different thing. These are criminals that are using my name to steal from you. There are, there are thousands upon thousands of them. They are there in Zambia, in Nigeria, in South Africa. These guys are uncountable. They are taking advantage of the fact that there are a lot and a lot. Every blessed day, there are thousands of people that are joining and getting to know who Siawan is. So when they, when I post something, they reply your message, they reply your comment, and they say, uh, "I'll give you this. I'll give you this. Come and write me on WhatsApp." One thing you must know is that Siawan does not reply comment. Siawan does not chat on Facebook. C1 does not have a Facebook account. The only thing I have is what my Facebook page, where you are watching me now. And I will never send you a message on Facebook. Anyone that is chatting with you on Facebook Messenger, on Facebook page, is a criminal. It's not C1. So don't reply them. Please. When I post something, I do not reply your comment. If I post something, you comment. I don't reply your comment. Anyone that replies you is a criminal. I do not send you friend requests because I do not have an account. Anyone that is sending you friend requests is a criminal. I have only but one means. Only one way through which I communicate to the people. And that way is through my WhatsApp number. Which I'm going to type for you here right now my whatsapp number which is uh, plus two seven seven eight nine nine three five one four four be careful again plus two seven seven two seven seven eight nine nine three five one four four Let me put the number here, please. Okay, I have pinned my number there. That's my number. You send me a message on WhatsApp. And the only message, don't call me. Send me a message on WhatsApp. 
tell me when you send me a message on WhatsApp, go straight to the point. Tell me what you want. For example, see a one, I want marriage. See a one, I want money. See a one, I want this. Go straight to the point. Tell me what you want. I am going to reply to you. I don't have any secretary that replies for me. I am going to reply to you. See a one, I want money. I want paper. I want a house. I want a husband. My husband is misbehaving. My wife is misbehaving. My fiance is misbehaving. Go straight to the point and tell me what you want. And I'm going to do it for you. Every day, thousands upon thousands upon thousands of people are celebrating. I perform thousands of miracles every blessed day. Send me a message on WhatsApp after the program. Not now. See, I want, this is what I want. You write down what you want. And I'm going to do it for you. See, I want, I want money. See, I want, I want car. See, I want, I want a husband. See, I want, I want this. I want that. You write it exactly. I am going to respond to you. Going straight to the point. Going straight to the reason why we are here today. Number one. I want to commend, I, I want to say congratulations to Mr. Jason T. Pepo for the reinstatement back into Zambian police and the, the promotion that was given to him. I want to say a very big thank you to the president, President Taka in the HLM. This is one man that really loved the people. You see, the issue of love, loving the people, you cannot pretend about it. You cannot, it's not something that you pretend about. Loving the people is, is, is natural. You can see that this guy loved the people. And this is why we are here to protect him. President Hakain Dechilema, thank you for reinstating Mr. Chipepo and promoting him as a as an inspector i'm so grateful this is one man that resigned from his work and had the courage to go and protest protesting against corruption that was taking place at the at the at the police protesting against the corruption and the cadarism that was taking place at the police he was arrested several times and each time he could speak to me say papa look at this see what 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 i say relax you are going to get back there. And in fact, it's going to be big. I trust the president of Zambia, President Taka in the HLM. He will take you back. And this time you are going to go back as a big person. And true to my word and my encouragement, today he has been reinstated and promoted. When he gave me the news, I could not wait. I, I, I was like a mad person. I didn't know how to thank President Taka in the HLM, you know. I didn't know what to say. I was all over jumping. <laughs> because this is going to give hope for most of the people that lost their job because of tribalism and because of because of Fedi Galungu and his people, because of criminality. The appointment, the appointment of Mr. Chipepo has given courage to so many of them. So I want to say thank you so much, His Excellency, for listening to the people and bringing back Mr. Chipepo in the system. I, if, 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 I, if, I, if I know what you like so much, I was going to buy it and give it to you. But I don't know what you like. I'm only saying thank you, His Excellency, I'm going to remove my cap for you. May God bless you for that and for what you have done and many, many other things that you are going to do. Secondly, we want to go into what, the, what brought us here today, which is very, very important. Now, a uh, few days ago, on my page, I, I gave a prophecy of what I saw in the realm of the spirit. 
that uh, was happening and that has been planned to happen. When I said President Akainde Chilema is going to rule Zambia for 10 years, and after that, UP, uh, uh, Tassila Lungu is going to take over PF, rebrand it, and win and become a president. And many people say, hey, Sia Wan, Sia Wan has been bribed. Sia Wan, Sia Wan has been paid. <laughs> Sia Wan has been this, Sia Wan has been that. Sia, uh, 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 Tassila Lungu has gone to meet Sia Wan, and uh, Sia Wan is, is working with PF, and Sia Wan is going to work with PF. <laughs> And when I look at it, I laugh. <laughs> Tassila Lungu did not come to meet me. I don't even know how. We don't talk anyway. And uh, that's, that's by the way, we don't have any business. I've never met her before. And uh, we will never meet. Because if Tassila Lungu becomes the president of Zambia, Edgar Lungu automatically becomes the president of Zambia. And all of you know that Edgar Lungu is my greatest enemy. What happens in the realm of the spirit when prophecy comes? It's very simple. When you, when you see a person like Siawan that once he gives prophecy, it comes to pass. I say, well, anything I tell you, anything I say, come to pass. I've never missed a prophecy since I was born. Once I tell you this is what I've seen in the realm of the spirit, a wise person was going to ask, Okay, see one who have heard what you have said. What can we do? Because we don't want me myself. I I don't want anything from Edgar Lungu to ever come to power again. Do you know what Edgar Lungu did to me? Do you know that if Tassila Lungu wins and become president today, do you know what is going to happen to me? <laughs> don't think that I'm a fool. Don't think that don't think that I'm not wise. I am very wise. Edgar Lungu has betrayed me before when he was a nobody and he became president and he betrayed me. So if today I, I decided to say, okay, let me work with Tassila and we work with Tassila, what is the guarantee that he will not betray me again? <laughs> it's a betrayer. It's a family of betrayers. So what I saw in the realm of the spirit is something that should worry everybody. Something that should worry me Something that should worry you. It's not something to come out and say, eh, that can never happen. Eh, eh, that can never happen. Eh, they have bribed C1. They didn't bribe me when they had money. PF, as we are talking today, they are, they are shells. They are shells. The, the, the time they had money. The time I was in South Africa bombarding them. The time they used my government to tell me to collect money from them and stop fighting them and support them. My own government. What? Are you mad? What is so evident? Can I lie against my own government? Over 7,000 people are watching this broadcast. My government people are watching this broadcast. I lie against them. Saying that they, they came to my house in Limpopo and told me to sit down with Edgar Lungu and settle with them and take compensation. Am I lying? The Minister of Consular, Mrs. Chendo, was there as the head representative for my government. They told me to settle with them. They told me to take compensation and stop fighting them and actually work with them. My government told me. So, that time when they had these billions, that time when even my government was involved, I did not betray HH to go and collect money from them. So it is today now that HH is the president that I'm supposed to also eat <laughs> because I've worked. Now that I'm supposed to eat, this is when I can betray the president. <laughs> Sometimes use your brain. When he, when he was nowhere, when HH was nowhere, when many of you left him, and they ran away. Eh? Only Sia One was the voice that was speaking, calling the youths to unite and vote at PF. And the, and the, uh, uh, Prophet Abraham from, from India, I think Prophet Abraham Angel from India, and a few other prophets that stood together with me and said, HH was going to win. 
We did not abandon him when he was a nobody, when his closest friends were running away from him, when Mr. Kakoma ran away from him, when GBM ran away from him, Tishimba Kamburi was talking to me every blessed day. I was the one begging him to sit and support uh, Akain De Echilema. Eh? I didn't abandon him by then. Eh? And I didn't abandon him when uh, I, I was calling on Nefes Mumba. I was looking at Nefes Mumba yesterday. Or day before yesterday, campaigning for HH. I was looking at him as a potential vice president because I called him with my phone. He spoke to me. I told him, support this guy. HH will be the president. Many people when he had nothing, absolutely nothing, when he was no president, I was supporting him. I couldn't betray him. Now that he's a president is when I will betray him. <laughs> Am I mad? I'm not mad. When I gave a prophecy of what I've seen in the realm of the spirit, the question you should ask, Papa, how can we stop it? Let me tell you something that you don't know. Me, myself, would not love to be alive and CPF take over power again. Even if not PF, anything close to Eddie Galungu. Because we saw the corruption that we, we, we happened in the previous government. If they get in there now, what they will do is finish. I wouldn't like to be alive to see them take over. So when I saw in the spirit, I told you that unless this girl is arrested, persecuted, and put in jail, and conv convict, barred from contesting election. You don't understand how politics works. And you don't understand how spiritual things works. Let me tell you what is happening now, if you don't know. In PF, as we are speaking today, today, listen, write down this thing, and listen very carefully. In PF, as we are speaking today, there is three groups of people that have come out from PF. I told you that PF is going to divide in pieces. There are three groups of people that have come out in PF government. First group is the group that is supporting Eddie Galungu. Because the Chinese people... Chinese government representatives, Chinese businessmen and women have promised the Galungu that in the year 2026 they are going to finance the campaign for PF, for PF to uh, take over power again in the land of Zambia so that they can finish where they stopped. This meeting is going on even as we are talking today. Chinese government is willing to sponsor PF. The 2026 election is going to be money. PF is going to buy votes. When I say buying of votes, it's not one, 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 quarter, two, two, quarter. They will be given bundles of money. They have been promised by the Chinese. This is people that are supporting Edgar Long. Edgar Lungu is aware of what I'm talking about. I want you to monitor the movement of Edgar Lungu. Those of you that think that CR1 is stupid or CR1 is just talking. I don't just talk. If I'm talking, look at how many people that are watching me today. 8,000 people turned in and watching. They don't watch me because I like talking. There are so many people that are talking they can watch. They, are, they know that what I'm talking is reality. Watch the movement of Edgar Lungu now. From now going on. Eddie Galungu is going to be dressing like, you know, very simple dressing, and he'll be going from church to church. He'll be going from compound to compound. He'll be meeting people on the street. Watch out! I am exposing him now, and even if I say it, he will still do it. Because Chinese have promised to sponsor their campaign to take over power in the year 2026. But that will happen if I am dead. So long as I'm alive, Akain De Echilema is going to rule for 10 good years. And because I love him, if he finish ruling and say, I, I want this person, if he him himself single-handedly pick a person that we can trust, we are going to support that person. But the way it is, 
see what is happening. In 2026, PF is going to run multi-billion billion quarter campaign. They will buy, when I say buying vote, it's not just, it's not like what happened the previous time, no. When I say buying vote, they are going to have a lot of money. Chinese is, 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 is packaging themselves to sponsor PF back into power. Don't say that I did not warn you. They are going to sponsor Eddie Galungu or anybody that Eddie Galungu will anoint to take over. That is why now, as we are talking today, PF has divided into two, into three. One of them are those that are supporting Eddie Galungu. The other one are those that are supporting Chishimba Kambu. And the other one are those that want to go into, into, uh, into, into, into PF. I have seen that uh, Dr. Nefas Mumba is watching me. Doctor, man of God, it's a pleasure to have you here today. It's a pleasure to... I am glad that uh, I've seen you watching today. And uh, I believe you can remember what I told you about supporting President HH and uh, him becoming the President of Zambia. You are a great leader. Dr. Nefas Mumba, you are a great leader. But uh, I wish you listened to me. You are someone that... Uh, you are more like President HH. I wish you listened to me and, and made the part with him and became the Vice President and take over from HH immediately he leaves power. But it's not too late. I will advise you and also... Uh, President HS to work together. Your vision is more like the same. Your vision is, is a clear one. And uh, build the nation together. I just want to say thank you for watching me. Uh, Dr. Nefes Mumba. God bless you. But what I'm trying to say is that this guy's PF has divided into three. One is supporting Edgar Lungu. The other one is supporting uh, Chishimba Kamburi. And the other one want to cross over to UPND. Now, those that are supporting Edgar Lungu are those that will receive funding from China. I am telling you billions upon billions upon billions have been mapped out to, to, for the campaign. The campaign will be very aggressive. Already, Edgar Lungu has started. He has started going from from place to place. You will always be seeing him. Watch out. There will even be a Facebook page. You will be seeing his activity. He will just be going here and going here, you know, touching the people, trying to be humble. He's not humble. Edgar Lungu is a crook. Edgar Lungu is a, is a lion in sheep's clothes. Be very careful. He will come to you like he's humble. He has started again. Because Chinese have agreed to sponsor his campaign. 2026 is going to be tough. But I want to say again that PF is, unless I'm dead, even if all the opposition in Zambia come together, like I said before, when there was no hope for HH, even if everyone come together and vote for them, they will not win. Akai Nechilema is going to rule Zambia for complete 10 years. And after that, we'll take it from there. This is what is happening. People in the UPND must wake up and start seeing things exactly the way it is. There is a group that is supporting Tishimba Kambiri, a group that is supporting uh, 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 Edgar Lungu, and there is a group that want to jump now and jump into, into UPND. This you must be careful of. When you see Eddie Galungu coming to you on the street, start trying to take pictures with venerable children, trying to behave like he's buying mango, he's eating mango on the street and trying to play with the children, remember that this is a lion coming, pretending to be a, 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 a sheep. If he will eat you, if you get close, I know what I'm talking about. I've dealt with him before.
So be careful of this. And concerning Tasila Lungu, Tasila Lungu becoming the president of Zambia, I want you to understand how politics works. I want you to understand how how politics works in Africa, especially. When the reason why PF came into power and removed uh, uh, MMD is because MMD was very corrupt, and their president then was Rupia Banda. And when Sata came into power, Sata said, "When I am elected." I am going to arrest these guys and I'm going to put them in jail. And when he came into power, he arrested them and things were going on well and so on and so forth until Eddie Galungu came and took over power. When Eddie Galungu came and took over power, he acquitted Eropia Banda, his children and so on and so forth. Eropia Banda became a hero for the people of Zambia today. Eropia Banda and his children stole a lot of money in Zambia. That's why his children ran away from Zambia after Sata won the election. If their hands were clean, they were not going to run away. They ran away because they stole a lot of money. Through Dorasilia, they sold Zamtel. There is a lot and a lot of crime they committed. Those guys who served in MMD then, including the, the, the present finance minister now, this guy stole a lot of money. They stole a lot and a lot of money from the people of Zambia. But because in Africa, we have short memory. Once we take power from them, they know how to behave like, mm, mm, and we forgive them. And once we forgive them, they become heroes. When Eddie Galungu was campaigning, I think in 2016 or 2015, if I'm not mistaken, Rupia Banda took him, the same person that stole a lot of money from the people of Zambia, took him. And they took him around Zambia. And many people voted for Ed, uh, 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 Ed Galungu because of Ropia Banda. Forgetting that Ropia Banda stole a lot of money. That's how Africa politics works. Forgetting that he stole a lot of money and he won election. This is what is going to happen with the, finance, with the finances of Chinese and the pity and the uh, 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 and the sympathy that Eddie Galungu is going to gather if he doesn't win in 2020, 2026 he will support the daughter to take over in 2031 believe me through that sympathy and a lot of youths that will vote forgetting all the crime that Eddie Galungu committed this girl is going to go through so for us to stop that from happening is to make sure that of all the whole crimes that she committed, she must be pinned and the bad from contesting. This is the only way that we are going to stop it. Many of you that are hearing what I'm saying will come back and say, Siawan said it. Siawan said it. Take my words very, very serious. Take my words very, very serious. This is exactly what I'm telling you. This is how politics is done. I'm telling you, vote of sympathy does a lot in Africa. Today, as I'm talking to you today, many people are seeing Eddie Galungu now as a hero. Anytime he comes, people are feeling pity for him. Once Eddie Galungu is arrested now, you will see many people say, ah, why are you persecuting the press? Why are you persecuting the Forgetting that he is a criminal. He stole a lot of money from the people. That is politics. I'm telling you the gospel truth. That is politics. And they have understood it. And also they are going to invest a lot on social media. Get ready to be seen at Galungu regularly on social media through Muebantu. Through Smart Ego. And so many, they will, be, they will flood social media. They are, they are going to pay people millions. They are preparing. Don't think that these guys are sleeping. I'm telling you, don't think that PF, PF people are sleeping. They are not sleeping. When Aka in the won election, they were all afraid. They were shaking. They were shivering. They have had meetings, series of meetings, and they have come back to fight. It's not going to be easy. But they are going to divide. One will support Edgar Lungu. 
one will support Chishin Bakambur and the other one will jump into UPND. Now, coming to jumping into UPND, this is where I'm having a very big problem. Let me, let me, let me, let me ask this question to the UPND government. Why are you in a haste to accept people to come and join your party now? <coughs> why are you, why, what is, what do you want? Does it mean that you don't have people in the party? I want to believe that President HH is not aware of what is happening. It's not aware that criminals are now coming into the party. Now, if you are allowing these people to come in, now it's not even one year. You are not one year in power. I'm not talking about HH because believe me, HH is not aware of all these things. If HH is aware, he can never allow somebody like Rashida to come into the party without proper examination. I really am not, uh, it's not aware. Even those people that are blaming him, stop blaming him. I can, this one, I can hold my chest and say that HH is not aware that Rashida has joined UPND. Now, you are allowing these people to come into the party. What do you want from them? Eh? Like, what do you want? UPND. You are a party that people of Zambia voted. They, they believe that this is a corrupt, free party. This is, at least, we will breathe now from corruption. And then, within a space of fight, you are not even one year in power. And they are allowing these corrupt people to come and join. Eh? I was listening to Copper Belt Minister. With due respect, who was addressing the youths, saying I'm not a coward. He was so arrogant the way he was talking and talking talking to the youths. I'm not a coward. Eh? Tell me what is Rashida going to bring into the party that the party does not have? Rashida has only joined the UPN because she wants to protect the business of the husband. Which is exactly the thing that people voted against. What is Rashida going to bring? When, when Rashida left PF, why didn't she jump into UPND? What is that thing that she has seen in UPND now that she didn't see in UPND before the election? The same question that I'm asking now is the same question I'm asking for anybody that wants to jump from PF to join into to join UPND. What is that thing that you are seeing in UPND now that you did not see before the election? Tell me, as as we are talking, let us let us stop pretending things are not okay on the copper belt. How can you allow somebody? Who's everybody saying the husband is involved in, in illegal business? You just allow her to jump, no investigation, no nothing. You just allow her to fly from where she is and jump UPND. Politics is about number. Who told you that you don't have the numbers? How many seats do you have in parliament today? Did you, did you get it because of Rashida? Did you get it because of these people that are leaving PF today and joining UPND? Everyone that is leaving their political party today and joining UPND is not joining because they love HH or love UPND. They are joining because they want to protect themselves from persecution. And this we are not going to allow. All the criminals that stole must be persecuted. If you want, join UPND. If you want, go into the, the, the stomach of uh, the, the, her, SL, uh, her Excellency, the, the wife to the President. Let her give birth to you as a son, as a daughter. So long as you committed the crime, joining UPND is not going to help you. You are going to face the consequences. Or if not, we are going to mobilize. Yes. What is it that you saw? That you are seeing in UPN now that you did not see. Eh? And why are UPND leaders so 
in a haste to accept people to join the party. Are they joining the party because the people that fought for the party have, be, have benefited? They have all come in now so that they can stop, they can start eating from where they stopped. Why the people that fought for the party are struggling? Eh? Eh? You are pretending like the, 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 the minister of Copper Belt is saying, I am not a coward. I'm not, you, you, you are being arrogant to the youths. You are not a coward. How many, how many truckload of police did you bring to welcome Rashida in your party? Why didn't you go and welcome her alone if you are not a coward? Don't be stupid, my brother. Be humble. Humble yourself. It was the youths that humbled the Digalungu. They can humble you. You are nobody. All of you that have become arrogant now, eh? working with PF people, working with PF criminals, you are nobody. People voted for you, PF, not because of you. They voted because of HH. All of us that supported UPN supported because of President HH, not because of you. You are nothing. I'm telling you the gospel truth. Why are you allowing criminals to join your party when the people that fought for your party they, they are, are not getting anything? Eh? If you go to the mine today, PF are still controlling the mines. Why? Because they have connived with the ministers. They have connived with the directors. The people that fought are hungry. You are bringing in criminals. This is not how politics is done. Politics is stomach, yes. Where you work is where you eat. People worked. People sacrificed. You have not settled them and then you are bringing in criminals. Who is Rashida? What is Rashida going to contribute to, 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 to UPN? Eh? That is the same. Politics is about number. Which number? Which number are you talking about? UPN has the number. The youths are the number. You don't need somebody like Rashida in the party. You don't need. People are crying in the copper belt. Many people are dead in copper belt because of Rashida's husband. And then you welcome her and give her, give her state security. Who is she? Where was she when we are campaigning for a church? What are you talking about? Where was Rashida? Eh? All those all those people that left PF and stood on independent, all of them campaigned for Edi Galungu. They did not campaign for a church. The youth were in the bush speaking. The youth were in the bush crying. Rashida was busy campaigning for Edi Galungu. And today you welcome her into the party like a hero. And you want people to keep quiet. And you start talking. You say, I'm not a coward. You are a coward. If you are not a coward, why did you go with police? Eh? You are a coward, corporate minister. You are a coward and you are a corrupt human being. You are a very corrupt, useless human being. You can't do that. Why are they joining now? Why? What is it that they have seen in UPN that they did not see when when HH was suffering? Eh? Rashida was among the people that we are celebrating when HH was arrested. Eh? She resigned from PF and did not join UPN. She did not campaign for HH. She campaigned for Edi Galungu. And today you welcome her like a hero with truckloads of police. The same thing that PF people were abusing the police is the same thing that you have started. And you are only few months in power. And you want people not to talk. Are you mad? We are not, we are, you are there where you are because we respect HH. We will remove you within a minute. You are nothing. We make the seat very hot for you. You resign. We attack you. Stupid. What do you mean by you are not a coward? You are a coward. You are nothing. I swear upon God, Father, if not because of HH, you will not last in that seat for 24 hours. You will live there. That's nonsense. Before you welcome people into your party, ask them, what are you coming to do for us? Don't just welcome everybody. Because they want to come. What for? What are they coming to do? Eh? People that cried for the... There are people that went to prison for, for, because of HH. They have not gotten anything. They are happy because 
uh, the, the black mountain and all those other things will be given to the people. Uh, they are happy. That's why they voted. They voted so that they can benefit from black mountain. And the black mountain boss has come and joined you. You have collected one one kwacha, two two kwacha. Eh? You are mad. You are a very useless human being. What is Rashida going to do for you, PND? Tell me. When when Dorasilia was joining PF, all of us cried. We said this lady is like it's a cancer. She will kill the party. Today was is she not among the people that killed the party? Rashida is a cancer. In UPND. And those I've seen so many people warming up in PF. They want to jump into UP, even those who we are who we are insulting a, a, a president HH. They are jumping up to come, they want to come and occupy the same seats they were occupying in PF. When people that suffered for UPND are all over the streets doing nothing, no money, no nothing, no car, no nothing. Eh? Eh? You have not said to the people, UPND as we are talking today, does not even have proper structures. You need to sit down, secure your house first, and then you're able to welcome people. And not welcome everybody. Welcome that UPND is a party that youths are beginning to fall in love with. Anywhere that President HH go today, it's built flock. Youths are following him all over. Are they following him because of Rashida? Are they following him because of Jerabo, that other Rashida's husband? These are stupidity that made PF gone into oblivion today. You have started very early. Arrogant. At I'm not a coward. You are a coward. Uh -uh, who are you? Bowman Lusambo is humble today. Who are you? With because thank God for a church. You know? Thank God for that man in State House HH. The respect I have for him. If not, you, you put 24 hours, you, you yourself will run away from that seat. Idiot. What are you talking about? People cannot suffer. Eh? People, other people suffer. Other people come and eat. It doesn't happen. Fix your house first. Before you welcome criminals into your party. All those other people there that fought for a church those that went for prison there are a lot those that many of many of you we don't even know these other ministers they appointed we don't know you we only heard that uh, if you ask who is this person no he was supporting us secretly secretly my foot secretly secretly rubbish most of you that we are appointed, it's just that you have already been appointed and we cannot disobey the president. He knows the reason why he appointed you. If not, we are asking to say, please, who are these people that are appointed? No, they supported, they were giving us information. Information, my foot. They were supporting us secretly. Imagine if all of us were supporting NHS secretly. Who was going to influence the youth? Who was going to speak? At a point where I am talking, 30,000 people are watching. In three days, over 4 million people are watching the video. Influencing the youth. Imagine if we are all supporting him secretly. They are, they, in this election, let me tell you what you don't know. There is nothing like I provided secret service for a church. Because all the secret service you say you provided are rubbish. Nonsense. Are you providing secret service so that you can prevent... Uh, 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 PF from rigging the election. PF rigged the election. Even before the election, they rigged the election. So what is what what is the essence of your secret support? Most of you had one leg in PF, one leg in UPND. You were just supporting UPND and supporting PF because if PF won, you jump into PF. That's why you didn't come out in public to support him. People that came out in public to support HH suffered a lot. They were beaten in the market. They were beaten at the bus station. They were beaten everybody. Still, they continue supporting a church. At the end of the day, you go and bring in criminals to come and take their place in the party. It's a lie. It will not happen. 
I'm telling you that will not happen. Be very careful. Let Rashida be the last person that you are going to bring in the party until you have a structure in your party. The people that labored for the party, there are a lot of armies that are writing me today from Zambian army. They are writing me, they lost their job because of HH. They have not been given their jobs. And then you are bringing criminals to come and continue eating. Eh? Is Zambia only for Rashida and the, and the husband? What are you talking about? Eh? Senior members of UPND died fighting for HH. Their wives and their, and, their, and their family have not been compensated. And then you bring criminals to come and continue eating? What are you talking Are we fools? Do you think that we are mad? We are not mad. You are, you are only, you are only there and the lucky because we respect a church. If not, you can't be there. Who are you? You are nobody. Look at a, a great person like Eddie Galungo. Where is he today? He was dealt with then not to talk of one, this thing, doing rubbish. Please, be very, very, very careful. We fought so that the people of Zambia can eat. We fought so that people of Zambia can be liberated. Don't go and push them back to where they are coming from. We will not accept that. We are not going to accept that. I believe that President H.H. is not aware of what is happening. And let me tell you, my president, today, the, so the people that you call your ministers are working with PF. They are bringing them back. That is why if you go to the markets today, you will still find PF cadres occupying slots in the, at the market. In the year 2016, I was in Zambia. I went to Cheston Market to buy something. For you to be given a slot at Cheston Market, you must be a PF cadre. Majority of the people occupying today, even as we are talking today, majority of the people occupying the market are PF cadres. President, the people that fought for you have not been given slots in the market. PF cadres are still enjoying. They are even laughing at the people that fought for you. They are even laughing at UPND members. They are laughing at UPND members. They are saying, ha ha ha, we told you that you are nobody. President HH, I know that you listen to me when I speak. Sir, the people that you have appointed as your ministers are criminals. They are already working with PF officials. As we are talking today, PF are still enjoying the minds. They are enjoying the minds. As I'm talking to you today, President, you know that I will not have seen election commission of Zambia watching. <laughs> God bless you. This is it. The people, let me tell you something, Mr. President. I know that you are not aware of this. You are innocent. And you know that I can never betray you. I see your one. I've sworn upon God, Father, never to betray you because I love you from the bottom of my heart. And I will not lie to you. The ministers that you, are appoint, yeah, that you have appointed, majority of them are criminals. Instead of working with you, they are working with PF. The reason why is because they want you to fail so that they can take over leadership. That is why I said, immediately you step down in the year 2030 or 2031, I will step down from supporting UPND because I love you. Imagine you step down and hand over to Garin Combo and then I see I want to go and support Garin Combo because of, because of uh, uh, because of UPND I cannot do that I can't do that many of the people that you appointed out of love are betraying you His Excellency I'm telling you you can go around in the market go around in the street and hear from the people that people are crying the same hardship that we are going through at the hands of PF is the same hardship that they are going through in the hand of in the hand of uh, 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 your people. 
because your people are working with PF. I thought by now, I thought by now, I thought by now, market would have been occupied by people that fought for you and people that cried for the people of Zambia. Nothing has happened. I thought, I thought by now, as we are talking, his excellency, I thought by now, mines, the PF cadres that got contrast in the mines, by now, I thought they would have lost their jobs. They are still having their jobs. Even at the, at the, at the, at the ministries, I was watching the ministry, the ministry of youth and sports, I saw when they were giving a, a, a briefing, what what, I saw one of the men among the three was actually one of them that was wearing even BF regalia, campaigning for Ed Galungu. Even if he was, he, was, uh, he, was, uh, he was a civil servant, he was campaigning for Ed Galungu. That man is still there at the Ministry of Youth and Sports. The people that you have appointed are letting you down. But, sir, me, see one, and the many other people that love you, we are not going to let you down. We are not going to let you down. We are going to fight for you. We are not going to... They have already... Uh, uh, His Excellency, tell me the logic behind Rashida jumping and joining now. What is it that she did not see? Eh? What is it that she did not she saw in, in, in you now? What is it that she saw in you that she did not see before? <laughs> <laughs> so you see what you see why we are saying <laughs> your your party leaders PF have taught them how to steal Mukula tree, how to steal copper, how to steal gold. They are working with PF. I want you to do your on your own. Your own. On your own. His Excellency. Pick up phone and call people at the party structures. Ask them about their leaders. You will see that most of the people that worked for you and those that are working for you have not are not happy. Because PF is still in charge. PF people are now mingling with your leaders. The ministers are mingling with the directors of PF, and there are so many other things that is going on. His, His Excellency, out of the love that we have for you, we don't want you to fail. You are a man that have the heart of gold. You you really have seen Haivi Hamdudu watching. Haivi Hamdudu, God bless you. I've, I also saw how you performed in the last election i want you to continue keep it up we are watching you we are following you everything you post on facebook mr amdudu we follow we watch i'm glad that you are watching god bless you i'm humbled sir so what what I'm trying to say is that I've, I've forgotten where I was. But what I'm trying to say is that look, this defection that is taking place now, are they coming because UPND does not have people? I believe that I believe that uh, we have we have everything in UPND everything in UPND everything in UPND believe me if you can take care of all these people close door first you know I'm not saying you will not welcome new members you welcome new members you welcome new members but not not Rashida those guys are already destroying copper belt. Youths are crying. I am receiving hundreds upon hundreds of messages from youths, from women. They are crying. They are saying, look, this woman, the husband is the one in charge of uh, Jerabo. They, they, they kill this, they kill this. They, this guy actually supposed to be chased away now. 
why are they coming? When HH was abandoned, they were among the people that abandoned him. Why are they coming now? Why? It's excellency. This is what I want to say. I don't have more thing to say. You know that I love you. I cannot betray you. Your ministers are working with Eddie Galungu. Believe me, many of them are the ones supplying Eddie Galungu with information. They are not with you. They want you to fail so that they can, they can take over. But take this one today as a as a prophecy and as a word from CR1. Like I said before you became president, you are going to rule Zambia for 10 good years. And after that, you will tell us what to do. But most of your leaders are betraying you. They are betrayers. They are bloody betrayers. I've just given you a tip. A tip. I've just given you a tip. Now you can do your investigation. Find out why Rashida, within a space of few months of forming government, has fly into your party. What is she coming to do? What people don't know is that UPND won this election, not because of Secretary General. Many of us don't even know who the Secretary General is. They, you, you won this election not because of that person or that minister. Many of them did not even campaign. Many of them did not even know where, they don't even know where, they don't know anything. You won this election because of HH. Hakainde Hechilema. We are supporting UPND today because of Hakainde Hechilema. Let me tell you, His Excellency, there is no one in your party that will hold you ransom, that will say, without me, UPND will not move. Our government will not move. It's a lie. It's a bloody lie. It's a lie. People love you. Be as quick as possible to fire every minister that is jeopardizing your work. Fire, no matter who they are, fire them. We are going to support you. You don't need them. You need the youth of Zambia. Anyone that is persecuting and frustrating the youth of Zambia, fire them. The youth will support you. It's better you lose them and you win the youth than to win them and lose the youth. There is no one who will say because you uh, can won election because of him. It's a lie. All of us supported UPND because of one man, Haka Inde Chilema. Apart from him, there is no any other person. There is no any other person. So there is no one that will say I'm too big in the party without me. Or if they fire me, the party will shake. Nothing will shake. Few months before the election, Chishimba Kamburi, who was very big and influential, left the party. Where is he today? HHC president. Few months be before the election, the closest ally, a very a, somebody that that was very lucky to just come into the party and was given a ticket to contest. What is her name? Uh, 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 Charmaine. She betrayed the church and joined you and joined PF. Where is PF today? Very close towards the election, Mr. Kakoma Charles. A person that have heard so much secret for a church betrayed him and ran to PF. Where is he today? Where is PF today? So there is no one too big. There is no one that will rise up and say, without me, hey, this government is going to fail. This government is going to fail. Where are we going to be? Fire them. Start firing them now. You don't need them. Anyone that is jeopardizing you, fire them. The youth will support you. In fact, the more you fire them, the more the youth will support you. What you need is the youth. If you want people to join your party, there are millions upon millions of people, youths that are willing to join you, not Rashida and the husband, not criminals, not crooks. No. Politics is about number. Number is, is Dorasili also a number? Is Boma Nusambo also a number? Eh? Is Tutuan Glube also a number? 
Eh? Point this is about number. The, which number are you talking about? There are people that join the party, you lose number. One person join the party, you lose 100 people. Is that also a number? There are people that join your party, you win millions of people. Those are the people you need. Those are people that you need to target. Not PF. Every member of PF is a criminal. I'm telling you the gospel truth. Every, num every member of PF or anyone that was in PF, all criminals, they are not needed in UPND. I'm telling you the gospel truth. Politics is about number. Get good number. You have the numbers now. People love you. Just look at the love that you get when you go out in the public there. See how youths are all over you. How people are all over you. Everybody is everybody's loving you. You don't need these criminals to come and destroy the party that we fought for. Me, myself, lost, lost a lot of things. A lot and a lot of things. Because of supporting you. And then those people that we fought for, they come back in the name of we are we are we love the party. Why are you loving UPND now? Are you not the one that said HH will never see state house? Eh? Are you not the one that, that was calling him a hackalooza? Are you not the one that is calling him under five politics? Are you not the one that was laughing at him? Are you not the one that was calling him Satanist? Are you not the one that is calling him Freemason? What is special about what is it that you have seen in HH now that you did not see yesterday? Be very careful when everything is okay for you. That is when you see people coming, hey, I love you, I love you. Those people that come to say, I love you, when things are okay for you, they are criminals. Be careful. The way it is now, there is nothing like come and join us. No, that let. Settle the people that fought for you first. At least let majority of them have food to eat. Let majority of them have work at Zesco. Let them occupy position in Zamtel. Let them get contracts from the mine. Let you know. Let them start eating also because he that work must eat. When they start eating, and then we we'll see whether these ones have repented or not, then we can say, okay, come. But if not, aha. Uh -huh. If not, what are they coming for? Remember how they were calling you? Haka loser. <laughs> Under five politics. They hated you for nothing. Very soon, uh, uh, Bishop Chamba will also come. He, remember he called you a Satanist. Eh? These people don't love you. They really don't love you. They don't love you. The people that love you are those people that are those people that are uh that we are with you when people left you this one that are joining you now because you have won election they don't love you be careful of them be very very careful of them i have even seen men of god changing their statement you know talking now men of god want to appreciate the president they want to call him the choosing one yeah yeah hey our president who our president our president your president where this is why i always tell people you see as you go to church be very careful if you don't know the church to go to find your way to a uh, a Roman Catholic Church, Anglican Church, all these churches that don't have prophets. Because these prophets that are here in this generation today, majority of them are criminals. They, they, they are people that failed the exam, they failed businesses, they failed things, and then they decided to open a church, knowing that it's easy to make it in church than in other things. That's why you see many of them we are giving prophecy about Edigalungu. I have seen Edigalungu is going to win. I have seen uh, Edigalungu the choosing one. God has chosen. I even saw people that came out in public and told HH to say, if you don't denounce Sia one, you are not going to step into state house. In personally to me, where I'm coming from, where I belong, when you lie, when you say something, it does not happen. It's either you are suspended or you resign on your own.
That's why I came and took microphone in my church in Limpopo, filled with thousands of people and millions of people watching me from all over the world. I say, if HH doesn't win election, I will drop microphone. I will resign because I know where we are coming from. I know who I am. If he lost election, you are not going to see me again talking. But this prophet of Pentecostal church is screaming us who prophesy. Many of them are still having their churches today. When I look at them, I say, these people don't have shame. After giving fake prophecy, you still have the audacity to take a microphone and say, praise the Lord. Ah! Can you see that Pentecostal church is a scam? These guys don't have anybody that regulate them. They don't have, like for me, if that prophecy again failed, I was going to be seriously punished seriously punished seriously punished uh-huh but look at them no one no they don't even care they are still talking they, are, they still have churches after giving open fake prophecy like this they have nothing to lose that's how they give you fake prophecy take your money fake prophecy take your wife Fake prophecy, take everything. Be very careful. Go to Catholic Church. Roman Catholic, ECZ. Uh, 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 Anglican Church. All these churches that don't have this prophet. These prophets are criminals. You can see they don't, they don't, they are not even ashamed of what they, apart from one prophet who is in India, Prophet Abraham, I think he's in India, Prophet Abraham Angel. Who stood and said, what C1 says is true. I have seen a church win the election. The rest, we are, there is Eddie Galung even visited some churches. The men of God said, you are going to be the president. Where is he today? And those churches are still open. And people are still going there. That's why, if there is any place where you find zombie, go to Pentecostal churches. There are a lot there. They are zombie. They can see black and white. But they cannot believe it. I feel pity for people. I want to say that I love you so much. If you are watching this broadcast, you have not followed this, uh, this page. Follow it. We are about to start exposing. Our exposing is to defend our president. President Haka Indechilema. We love him. That's why we fought for him. And we are going to defend him. To heaven, to earth, anywhere. We are going to defend him. We are not going to allow them to betray him. So we are coming with a lot of exposure. Follow this page. If you have not followed the page. You are watching. See our one. A prophet Abraham from USA. Abraham Angel from USA. Yes, that's him. He's a very good person. He's a very good prophet of God. If you have not followed the page, follow it. If you are watching, you say, see one, I want money. I've, I've, this is what I do for people every blessed day in thousands. Though thousands of people are writing me, thousands upon thousands of people are writing. I try my best. I meet up. Send me a message on WhatsApp now. Papa, I need document. I need green card. Papa, I need money. Papa, I need a car. Papa, my husband is misbehaving. My wife is misbehaving. I'm dating this man. I want this man to marry me. Anything, Papa, I'm sick. I have HIV. I have this. I have that. Send me a message on WhatsApp. Plus 277 8993 5144. Plus 277 8993 five one four four send me a message on whatsapp the number i've pinned it there send me a message when you send me a message go straight to the point don't say papa good evening papa how are you i'm always fine i can never not i will always be fine don't need papa this or papa yeah you look good today i don't have time for those things say exactly what you want and i will, I will reply your message i don't have any secretary that reply for me remember I don't have any representative anywhere. Anyone that is sending you message, 
claiming to be CR1 is a criminal. I don't have a Facebook where I, I will send you friend request. If you receive a friend request, you are receiving a friend request from a criminal. If you receive a message from WhatsApp, uh, from Facebook, I don't chat on Facebook. Those are criminal. If you, you, you comment on my post and I reply it, that person that is replying you is a criminal. I don't reply to people. Be very careful. My number, and this is the only number that I have, plus 277-8993-5144. This is the number that I have. You send me a message, and I will solve your problem. This one say we want use in the parliament, not old men. There are some old men that are wiser than the youths. Like if you look at the opposition, that, that today I'm sorry to say that Zambia does not have opposition. They, they don't have, even if they are grouping to fight in 2016, they don't have opposition. They don't actually know, they don't actually know, uh, they don't actually know what, what they want. They don't know how to criticize. For example, let me give you an example. As an opposition, there is a news that came out on uh, Digger's newspaper, or is it a post newspaper, that uh, I don't know if it's under $50 million was missing from fertilizer or what, what, what. Instead of the opposition talking about it, actually going to the ministries to inquire about it they left important issue and they are talking about hh going to launch book in south africa hh is a president he has friends he had friends when he was he was not a president if he want to go to south africa to launch a book what is wrong with it he is a president Every president is entitled to do exactly what they want, even in their private time. They can go, you know, what is wrong? Actually, a man that is going to go, is going to launch a book. He didn't go to sleep with prostitutes like uh, Eddie Galungu. He didn't go to uh, uh, do Casanova like the friends of Eddie Galungu. He went to launch a book. A book that will benefit him in wisdom. Wisdom that will benefit the people of Zambia. Opposition is criticizing it. It means you don't have anything to criticize about. You are even talking about, look, you are even making noise. Okay. There is a case that came, came up where uh, the house of faith Musonda was searched. And uh, an amount of 60, 65 million kwacha, if I'm not mistaken, was found. And the ACC and DEC, what, what they do, what they did, they said, okay, we have closed the case. If you are a wise opposition, if it's me, if today I decide we are going to put fire until they tell us exactly what happened, who is the owner of that money? These are the things that opposition must be looking at. These are the things that they must be, they must be talking. These are the very serious issues. They can actually go to ACC and sleep there, stage a campaign to say, we want to know where this money has gone. We want to know who is involved. This is what is called serious check and balances. You leave it and then you go and say, uh, the president went to buy book. The president went to launch book. Are you mad? Is that something to criticize about? You don't, there is no opposition in Zambia. And this is the reason why we need to help President HH because if we leave him, he's going to sleep because the opposition don't have anything to offer. It will be so easy. And then when he sleep, you fail to deliver. And when he fail to deliver, people will come and blame him. That's why we must help him to deliver. If 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 you are talking about uh, opposition, there is nothing. There is no opposition in Zambia. Nothing. They, they are jokers. People actually take them as jokers, joke, jokers. Maybe Hamududu and uh, and uh, and the president Nefes Mumba. Maybe you can give proper check and balances. But the one these guys are giving, 
Somebody like a Harry Calabar, a whole Harry Calabar. Somebody that I picked up my phone with my own a time to call and say support a church. Thinking that he has something, you know, I respected him. But looking at what is happening these days, yeah, I don't know what has happened. There is no opposition in in Zambia. Uh, ask nothing. A church will, it will he will just sell through like this. Wow, because there is no check and balances. Come to WhatsApp. Let us chat. I love you so much. May God bless you. See you next time.